Hello everyone. I have been wanting to do this video for a while now. I want to talk about the topic of messy people. I am Jules Llewell. If you don't already know, follow me on Instagram at Jules Llewell. Follow me on Twitter, even though I never post on Twitter. I really need to get better at that. At Jules L-O. And let's get started. How can you tell if either you yourself or someone you know is a messy person? And if you know someone who's a messy person, maybe start the process of cutting them out of your life. If you are the messy person, you my friend need to start the process of bettering yourself to get that mess out of your life. The first thing on my list is you talk about them behind their back, but when that person is around, you're all smiley and happy and you're all supportive and you're flattering them and you're all super nice even though just a few seconds ago you were making fun of them and talking so much smack about them. What happens with that is you begin to just feel a lot of negative energy. I'm all about energy and vibes and you can feel that and it'll cause you to feel anxiety. It'll cause you to get nervous. It'll cause you to feel uneasy because that's your body telling you that you are guilty as heck. It also puts you in an awkward position because when you're now around the person you were talking about them with and you're now about the per around the person you were talking about and they're in the same vicinity, now you're torn of do I act fake and I'm nice to this person or do I act like a jerk and be mean to this person because this person's here and you're always conflicted and you act weird and trust me, that person knows. The person you've been talking about knows and they feel it and they know exactly what's going on. You need to really check your conscience. like. Why are you talking about this person? Or why are you allowing someone else to talk about this person? You need to ask yourself, do I feel threatened by this person? Do I have questions? Am I intrigued by this person? Do, am I letting this other person talk about this person because I am not brave enough to stand up for someone else and say, hey, we really don't need to be negative. We don't know this person. We don't need to do that. I'm gonna challenge people as we end this year that if someone else is talking about someone, I'm gonna challenge you to be the one to say, you know what, if you have a problem with so-and-so, then have you tried actually going to so-and-so like and asking them and trying to sort it out or are you just going to sit back here in the corner and talk about this person and you also need to ask yourself the same thing why am i talking about this person behind their back is there a misunderstanding is there a question that i have do you need to i'm going to challenge everyone go directly to the person stop all this behind the back stuff Go directly to the person if you have a question, if there's a misunderstanding, and ask them specifically what it is you are talking about behind their back. Because if you're talking about it behind their back, it just means you're a coward and there's no reason to be afraid of anyone. So let's stop that. The next thing on my list are backhanded comments. Things like, oh, you look nice for an older woman. Oh, wow, that shirt's pretty. I bet you got it really cheap. I bet you got it at a thrift store. Oh, wow, you're really doing great. It sure is different from how you used to be. It's always something negative. It's always a comment that leaves you thinking, was that really a compliment or was that like, what were they doing here? It always leaves you questioning what the heck just happen and when people give you backhanded compliments I just did a video on you know when you change and people are now mad because you've changed when people make comments like that it's because you changed for the better and they like how you were back when they felt they had power over you and now that you're doing better and you're not depending on them as much or they feel as if you're doing better than them, they have to say something that they think will put you back in your place. And that's so not necessary. And maybe you yourself have made those comments to people. When you make those comments to people, you need to stop and say, wait a minute, why do I feel threatened by this situation? 
what's going on with me? Is it because they lost weight and I wish I could have the discipline to lose weight? Is it because they've gotten a better house and I'm jealous because now their house is bigger or better than mine? Or maybe they've gotten a promotion and I want that promotion and I'm upset. You can take your jealousy and learn from it because sometimes it's telling you that there's something that you need to improve on. Maybe they've gotten healthy and you need to get healthy and you feel threatened because the decisions that you're making aren't conducive to that of somebody who's trying to be a healthy person. So instead of being jealous, instead of trying to put people in their place, turn that inward and look at your own life and see where you can improve. The next thing on my list is making smart and snippy comments. I am the queen of smart and snippy comments. It's something that I really need to work on. Um, <clears throat> and, and a lot of that just stems from you want people to know that they cannot take advantage of you. You want people to know that you're not stupid and that you actually know what you're talking about. At the end of the day, it doesn't even matter and you wind up looking like a jerk. Um, maybe somebody corrects you because you said something the wrong way or whatever and you make a smart comment like, oh wow, you're a genius. You know what? That just shows that you're insecure. We're all in this journey together. We're all learning. We're all just trying to make it in this world. So making smart comments just shows how not smart you actually are. Because a truly confident person just will let somebody say something and just, it doesn't even matter. It just slides off your back. Because at the end of the day, whose comments matter are the ones who are paying the bills in your place of residence and unless if that's not the case then you need to move on it is your life you know the truth just let it go the next thing on my list are people who are competitive i know people right now on my facebook my personal facebook i post a morning motivation I try to do it every single day. And it's just something positive that sparks thought in people. It gets people thinking, something that'll get them in inspired. And there are people right now on that Facebook page who try to compete and they'll post something, but it's only posted to negate whatever I've said. Like I could, for example, say, hey guys, Take a look up at the sky and see how beautiful it is and enjoy your day. And then moments later, hours later, or even the next day, they'll post, don't always look up at the sky and make sure you look down at the ground and see how great your feet are. Really? Really? So when you do things like that, it just shows how not creative you are. Like really, your content basically only exists because mine does. My content is giving you content. Seriously, get a life and think of better content. And the same goes for pretty much anything in your life. Maybe you got a new car and they all of a sudden want to get a new car too. Or maybe you got a new house and they all of a sudden have to get a bigger, better house. Maybe you just got a promotion and now all of a sudden they want a promotion too. They've never talked about this thing before they've never had an interest in this thing before but all of a sudden because you're doing it they have to do it too and you just stand there and you smile but inside you're screaming because that's annoying as heck what they're showing you in that situation is that they really don't have anything going on in their lives they really don't have a plan of their own so what better thing to do than to copy off of your plan but when that happens, just let them do what they're doing because I promise you, if they're not 100% passionate about whatever that thing is, or if they really don't have an interest in doing that thing, eventually they're going to stop. And it might take them a week. It might take them next year, but eventually they will stop. So don't let that get you off focus. Don't let that get you off track. Don't let that threaten you. Don't even take it seriously. Just keep doing you. This thing is something that you're passionate about. It's what you really want to do. So just keep on your path. 
and let it go. The only way to win a race is by looking forward. If you start looking left and you start looking right, then you'll lose momentum, you'll trip and you'll fall, you'll go into the wrong direction, you'll go into the wrong lane. Keep looking forward and that's how you succeed. The next thing on my list is showing lack of support to someone as a way to hopefully stop them from succeeding. This happens a lot on social media. Like maybe somebody's posting some really good things that they're doing with their life or a really cute picture or whatever and you say, I'm not gonna like that picture because I don't want them to think that I support them. You know how stupid you look right now? We have all done it. But the truth of the matter is if somebody's truly talented and good at what they're doing, it does not matter if you unfriend and block them. It's not going to stop them from succeeding. So you may as well suck it up and support that person if it's something that you're interested in that they're doing or if they're really good at what they're doing. I remember when I first got serious into branding myself and becoming open about wanting to inspire people and the things that I wanna do, there were people that told me that I was too ambitious and that I posted too much or I'm trying too many things. And I really had to look at the source of those comments. It was coming from people who really aren't doing anything with their lives. It was coming from people who eventually copied and started doing the same thing that I was doing. And most importantly, it was coming from haters. Look at the source. And <clears throat> now, you know, slowly but surely, my channel's growing and people are taking an interest in the motivational things that I post. If I had listened to the people who told me to shut up and to stop trying and that I was too much, I would have stopped trying and I would be just like them, sucking at life and hating life and trying to make other people feel bad for trying to get a goal of any kind. And I just inspire people to get a goal. I mean, just if more people were productive, we'd have less of this messiness. But that's a whole nother video that I'll have to do. Anyway, I really want to inspire people, especially women, to unite and stick up for one another. I was watching a video this morning. I don't remember the channel. Um, but she said that when we're kids, boys are taught that, you know, you have to work together as a team. We're a brotherhood, we're a family. And women are taught to, you better watch out for this girl. She's trying to take your whatever away from you. You better watch out for that girl. That girl's your competition. That girl's gonna beat you. So they were taught to work as one and we were taught to work against each other. So this message is unisexual but I'm really focusing on women because in my experience, I've gotten the most hate and have given the most hate, I'll be honest, to other women. And that really, really needs to stop. Um, there's a Beyonce song called, If You Hurt Me, You Hurt Yourself. And I know she was talking about a man, but that's, the, that's true about us as women. If you hurt and tear down another woman, you're really hurting and tearing down yourself because at the end of the day, that's your sister. At the end of the day, we have the same struggles. At the end of the day, we are all just trying to make it in this world and we're having to fight so many different elements and then we gotta fight each other. Okay, let's just stop it. If you see somebody talking about someone, challenge them to actually go to that person or you don't wanna be involved. I wanna challenge us all to be better. If there's a woman that you're jealous of, question why you're jealous. Is it because you need to improve something? Do you need to learn from that woman? Instead of hating on her and trying to tear her down and trying to make her feel bad about you know, who she is and what she's doing, learn from her. You might grow, you might gain a new best friend. Let's stop basking in that ne negativity and stunting our growth. Let's push forward and be positive and help lift each other up. Because if you're successful, but you're tearing other people down, you're ripping your very foundation from under you. And that's very dangerous because it means that eventually you will fall. So let's join together. We have more power together than we do separately. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.